Hi and welcome. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back once again to Technology Formation Channel. Today we are going to explain the Perkin Generator EIM controller wire. The full form of EIM means Engine Interface Module. This module most likely coming in a Perkin generators from 13 kVA to 1 megawatts. But we are now explaining the function of this controller, how to install the new one, and how to understand the wiring diagram and wiring pins out of this controller. Output and input connection. Before the starting the video, I have a small request to all newcomers. If you are first time on my channel, please make sure to subscribe my channel and hit the bell notification to getting more updates, updates videos. So let's get started. First of all, as you can see here is a interface controller top overview. Okay, here we have two connector. This is our uh, big connector. This is our small. This is you can uh, mention with the main con connector or this is our secondary. This is our secondary connector. This is our main connector. Okay, and here, here as you can see, three indication lights, three fuses. Okay, here is one another indication lights. One is a rubber port, rubber cap. If you uh, remove this cap with the screwdriver, flat head screwdriver. Under the beneath, you can see here is a small potentiometer. Okay. Further in a video, I will explain how the function of this potentiometer. As you can see, this fuse is mentioned with the symbols. This symbols, this one, one number fuse is, which is most likely uh, coming in a, a a green color, blue color. Sorry, for fuel, this yellow fuse for glow plugs and this last one white fuse is for starter starter motor okay this is the safety fuses for the starter motor fuel solenoid and glow plugs okay here as you can see here is mentioned this is the main connector pins as you can see here and this is the secondary pin connector we have all 12 connectors 8 in a main connector 8 pins and 4 pin in a secondary small connector ok now explain how to wire this uh, this controller and how to know the wiring pins out and pin in as you can see here main this is all the main from 1 to 8 as you can see here main connector pin number 1 if you remove the, uh, the connector of the wiring from this port you check the wiring numbers the wiring main numbers and I will explain here the function of each wires ok Pin number 1, you can start from here. For example, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Or you can, okay, like this. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, like this. Okay. Pin number 1, which wire mentioned with 51 number. Okay. This one number is output for the starting fuel solenoid. Okay. DC wood. Okay, one and another important. This controller some uh, time coming in 12 volt, sometime in 24 volt. Okay, if you are working on it, must you know understand which type of controller you this time you working on it, 12 volt or 24 volt. Then carefully uh, check the connection, check the voltages. Is okay. After that. Pin number 2, wire number 58, 
how to glow flux okay this is for output for glow flux okay you cannot you can't directly give this output which is okay you can control with this output which is fuel relay glow plug relay starter motor relay for example okay after that how to glow plugs pin number 1 and then pin number 58 okay and pin number 53 okay as you can see here pin number 53 how to fuel control solenoid what is mean of this this the mean of this is fuel control solenoid means the fuel electronic fuel pump which is suck uh, suck the fuel from the tank and give to the fuel injection pump and fuel uh, fill the fuel filter and then give to the fuel injection pump okay after that the four number which wire is 10 number wire for the glow plug input you first of all you take 12 volt dc volt to input then this controller automatically uh, out your 12 volt from 58 okay as you can see here this is the 10 number is glow plug input 58 number is glow plug output okay after that this is our positive input okay positive input from for this controller four number wire which is in a main six number starter motor input signal from control panel your power wizard controller 1.1 1.2 2.1.3 a power wizard f jewelson generator controller a caterpillar generator controller the generator controller starter motor signal you can connect here in a four number wire four number wire you can connect in a main six okay after that the main seven five number wire is dc negative you take negative 12 volt or 24 volt and put here okay this controller need negative and positive after that 3a fuel control input signal from control panel your fuel pump fuel fuel control means your fuel pump okay signal from your control panel after that the six number 56 number wires which is in a secondary port in this port mention with the 56 our speed signal out this this is the output of this controller to your control panel your generator control panel if your generator is our speed this will generate alarm on your control panel screen your generator then generator uh, goes to shut down to out of your set parameters after that you can see here 57 number wire and a secondary port 10 number wire okay for example our two number wire mpu signal input mpu signal input you can put here mpu signal input here and secondary and after that the engine relay signal output engine relay means your engine safety relay okay which is main engine relay to control all our all the engine wiring system and wiring diagram 
in turning on and turning off the your control panel or your this interface module. After that, this is the safety relay DC negative. Safety relay negative. Safety relay means to protect your uh, uh, this controller from damaging. You will put the safety relay DC input in a secondary last one. Okay. In the last, this one is a or speed light. You can set this uh, if this light is a uh, blinking. That means your engine is not synchronized with this. First of all, you remove this rubber cap. Take a small uh, flat head screwdriver and rotate this like this clockwise until to stop. After that, start your engine and then rotate counterclockwise when this light is goes to off then stop here your rotation of in the potential meter that means your this controller is synchronized with your generator so i hopefully understand with this video see you all next time goodbye